Jason, Jay Staples, Sober Caddy, Sober Caddy Chronicles, and uh, you know what? Uh, just been a great, great day. Really, uh, I've been working, using the word "juiced up." I don't know where that came from, but uh, it really is. Uh, I do get juiced up working with families and uh, providing solutions and working together with a lot of a lot of people out there. Uh, part of this recovery revolution. There's a great. There's so many things going on in long-term recovery. Uh, feel free to, to come aboard at any time. Uh, living in long-term recovery, all your dreams and miracles and blessings come true and the promises laid out to you in, in long-term recovery all come out in your life. So, uh, you know what, let's not jump to assumptions. It's been killing me all day. Just assuming uh, he or she will say no to treatment. Assuming the family uh, is not sticking to their boundaries. Assuming, 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 you know what happens? Just let it play out and do everything you can. Be prepared. Uh, don't go into a blind, but uh, let's not jump to assumptions because, you know, when, when I was in active addiction, I assumed I could not stay sober for a long period of time. I assumed that being in long-term recovery was boring and that uh, my life would have no meaning. I would just, uh, whatever, fill in the blank. But, uh, you know, jumping to assumptions uh, is playing out in my life. And it's just a, a, a great reminder that all we can do is, is present and rewrite and ask in in many cases i was just blown away by people wanting treatment that you know once we rewrite the story about this is not a punishment but this is actually fighting for your life when you probably can't fight for your own life we want you to get some help in, in a safe environment they were ready to go they always just as long as we rewrote the story about this is not a punishment and this is not a consequence of their drinking and using. This is a way of getting help and living up to life's potentials. We just need you to go to treatment. They were ready to go. And all we had to do was present it differently and rewrite one story and get them excited about the possibility of rewriting their story. Because, you know, in, in the world of addiction, when we're caught in the grips of addiction, you know, we're, li we're living one word at a time. We're living one chapter at a time, and, and everything that we write out or, or think or assume has always got a dark side, and nothing ever seems to turn out on a positive. Positivity is impossible to, to gain in the, in the grips of addiction. So, you know, Sober Caddy Chronicles, if I learned anything today, is that I love, love, and get juiced up for working with families working together in the recovery revolution, pointing people to the solution, and don't jump to, to assumptions. So, assumptions are gonna kill us. And you know what, all we can do is present it. We're not playing. Uh, we're not playing God. God either is or he isn't. We just have to turn it over and live one moment at a time and uh, keep hustling. Put in the hard work, long-term recovery, got a lot of miracles blessings and promises just continue to put in the hard work keep putting in uh, the hustle and stop making assumptions sober caddy chronicles uh, look for sober caddy chronicles all over the internet it's sweeping the internet look for uh, jump on sobercaddy.com for all your information about me and what a sober caddy does feel free to reach uh, reach me through sobercaddy.com and as always leave your you know comments like this share it whatever it is help move sober caddy chronicles all over the internet make it uh, bigger than uh, the 10 people it is or whatever it is but I do thank everyone for listening so I'm just mumbling right now sober caddy chronicles hope all is well enjoy your Friday